All right, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, Kal Halal Yim La Yahweh, Bahasham Hamashayak Yahweh Shai, Wa Baha Racha Kodash. Double honor goes out to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach Yasha Allah well. Enough respect, salutes, and blessings to the Akim out there pushing his word throughout the four corners of the earth, making their bodies a sacrifice for Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And to you few sisters who are doing the right thing, to you I say Shalom and Adawan Ratazah, which means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing. This lesson is edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to touch on the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verses 8 through 9. Okay, Zechariah 13, 8 through 9, which is dealing with the, uh, the elect, alright, the one-third all right, in Babylon the Great, and the two-thirds, which is the wicked of our nation, of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, in Babylon the Great. So, without further ado, let's get into the scriptures. And again, just to make it clear, of course the elect is scattered abroad throughout the world, but the one-third is specifically talking about America, Babylon the Great. Just like the two thirds is only referring to the land of America who will perish from thermonuclear destruction. So if we read verse 8, and it shall come to pass, you know, which is talking about a future prophecy, okay, that in all the land, saith the Lord Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Okay. Again, talking about America only, you know, in the scriptures known as modern day Babylon the Great, mystery Babylon spiritually, Sodom and Egypt. Okay, so the two parts therein that are going to cut off, that will be cut off and die. All right, that's talking about the two thirds of our nation, or 66.6% .6 recurring, you know, of the nation of Israel. Right, again, being your so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. You know, that's the population of our nation that's going to be, you know, put to death for their wickedness and not repenting. Okay. Get a precept in uh, the book of Amos, chapter 9, verse 10. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Right. And what's the modern day sword? The gun. Okay, and these nations, they're, they're furbishing, you know, their modern day swords, which are these ICBM, intercontinental ballistic missiles. Okay. You know, you've got Russia, all right, with its allied nations like China, North Korea, as well as the NATO, you know, and EU, which will launch missiles onto Babylon the Great, you know, turning that into a lake of fire. All right. You know, and America will get some of its missiles off as well. But, you know, Babylon's going to be... Babylon the Great is going to be completely desolate, destroyed. Okay. As well as laser beams from the chariots. So, again, two-thirds, you know, will have to be destroyed for their sin because they didn't repent. Let's go back to Zechariah 13. verse 8 and it shall come to pass that in all the land okay saith the Lord two parts therein shall be cut off and die but the third part sorry but the third shall be left therein okay so the third part left therein is the one third you know starting with 144,000 okay verse 9 and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried you know and that's you know what we're going through right now you know that's why we we say the hopeful elect because you know we're being purified all right ever since you know we're coming to this truth okay you know you're gonna endure you know temptation you know suffering 
All right. And that's what going through the fire is doing. It's purifying you. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's why, again, you have to, you know, endure. Because that's the part of being being tried. Going through different tribulations and trials and adversity. <clears throat> you know, being afflicted. You know, that's the fire, you know, which is purifying us. Get a precept in the book of Sirach chapter 2. Start from the top. Sirach chapter 2 verse 1 My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul For temptation, right? You know, prepare soul for all sorts of persecution You know, whether it be You know, illness You know, family and friends coming against you All right, things of that nature Verse 2 Set thy heart, heart meaning mind Aright And constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble All right So constantly endure Verse 3 Cleave unto him Meaning cleave unto Yahweh Baal Shem Shai And depart not away That thou mayest be increased at thy last end Alright verse 4 Whatsoever is brought upon thee Take cheerfully And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state Right because we're in a lower, a lower state right now Alright we're subject to payments Okay we're at the bottom You know socially economically Etc you know That's why you know anything that comes our way You know we just have to take it all right, for gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Get another precept. Micah, chapter 7, verse 9. I will bear the indignation of Yahweh, Baasham Yahweh Shai, because I have sinned against him, until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Right, because, you know, we fell off. All right, we sinned against our power. All right, that's why we're going through the curses, pursuing to Deuteronomy 28. Okay. So if we go back to Zechariah chapter 13 verse 9. Verse 9, I will bring the third part through the fire, and we will find them as silver is refined, and I will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, It is my people, and they shall say, The Lord Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, is my power. Alright, so again, you know, the gold is tried. Again, bringing us to purity. You know. And if we read the latter part again, I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. Right, and that's why it's imperative to know the name of the Lord. Alright, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? Yahweh, meaning he exists. Yahweh Shai. All right, being the only begotten son of the heavenly father, Yahweh, means he saves, he delivers. Okay, forget a precept. Book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. All right, so there's only one name. Okay. It's not a higher, it's not Yeshua, it's not Jehovah. Okay. It's Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, the name of the Heavenly Father. And to get to the Heavenly Father, you must go through his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay, so you call on Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Okay. You know, the evil times that were coming in coming into which we're pretty much on the brink of that you know we're at the beginning stages you know, it's our faith and wisdom and knowledge okay you know pursuing to and let me get that Isaiah chapter 33 verse 6 and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength and salvation the fear of the Lord Yahweh is his treasure all right you now so wisdom and knowledge of this truth of the scriptures of the correct doctrine which is taught you know at great millstone and other camps that follow the doctrine of great millstone the affiliated camps you know they have the hundred percent truth okay so again faith wisdom and knowledge all right of the scriptures and um you know calling upon yahweh bashem yahweh shai salakia you know it's 
that's all that's gonna that's all that we have that's going to sustain us okay because you know without faith it's impossible to please please the most high Get another precept in Proverbs chapter 18 verse 10 the name of the Lord Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh is a strong tower the righteous runneth into it and is safe okay that's why again you know it's important to know the name of the Lord and to call upon that name in faith okay because that's what's that's what's going to keep us you know Lord willing we're of that hopeful number that we will be saved in these evil days and evil just means bad times all right no because we're certainly living in the in the latter times man because you know this time that we're in it's gonna be um a time like never before in human history you know it's gonna far it's gonna out you know, out past the pass, you know, World War One, World War Two, even the transatlantic slave trade. Okay. So I just wanted to touch on those two precepts in Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. So I'm gonna end it there. Again, Lord willing, sorry, Lord willing, this lesson, you know, was edifying to those who are spiritualized to see and spiritual ears to hear. Okay. Again, double honor goes out to the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and labour in this word and doctrine. Okay. In closing I want to give all praise, all honour and all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rukha Kwadash. Alright. So Akim, Wafu Akwathium, you know, keep praying, keep studying, keep fighting, keep enduring, keep pushing. You know, pray for one another, pray for the elders and apostles. Alright. With that, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom to the elect.